it's February the 7th. Not really much going on today except got to get some tax papers done. Then we have to go to our tax uh, preparation office. And see if we're going to have to pay or receive money this year. And with the numbers, I'm guessing that we're probably, after all said and done, we're probably going to have to owe money. And if we get any back after all the expenses, it's going to be very, very, very little. So let's get to um, getting this tax papers together and put it into the system so we can print out the papers that we need so we can ta take it to the tax preparation business office and get them to put in all the numbers and see what we come up with. So let's get on over and see what we get this done get this paperwork put together. Okay, now that we got all the tax papers put together and put into our system, now we can print out the two pieces of paper is all we need. We print out one that shows how much we spent on parts, uh, office supplies, advertisement, or anything else that is business related like mileage on a vehicle, interest that we pay on the loan for the uh, business vehicles, the workshop interest and how much we pay for it and everything got all that into the system now we can print that piece of paper out and it's broken down uh, in each category of what each one is then we go into our program where we write all the invoices and go into it and tell it to print a report that will show all the payments from credit cards, online payments, cash payments, check payments, all of it together for all the invoices, the total income that we had for the business. We take them two pieces of paper and go to the tax man and he can put it all in their system and it will come up of if we owe money or we get some money back. I'm still thinking we probably will owe some money, maybe state. We did last year, but we got back on federal. But since our kids are getting older now, and they're over 17, I think that's the cutoff line, 17 or 18, somewhere around there, that we don't get no um, child credit earned income or whatever it's called. We don't get that anymore. We still have them as a dependent but we don't get no uh, child credit or anything like that benefit from it. So since that's out of the way, I do believe probably this year, we're probably going to be breaking basically even. I mean, we made more money, so that's going to factor in that we're going to probably get less back and pay more. But we'll see when we get there and put it all in. So let's get over to the tax office and give them to the Two pieces of paper. My man, uh, tax man loves when we come in to do taxes. We have how much we spent, how much we came in. He punches it in within the hour. We we'll walk in, we we'll walk out. So let's see how much it's going to be in our favor or the IRS. So let's get over here and see what happens.
we set over there? Uh, I would say probably eight minutes tops when we walked in, sat there, and they already had one customer ahead of us, and we just sat there and watched the traffic go by and killed some time. The fire department came through the parking lot with their biggest fire truck that they have, the one that is a one that has a ladder on it that has a driver in the front and also has a driver you know, all the way in the back. So we saw that maneuver around the parking lot. Um, they're probably training somebody how to be in the back and driving because that's one parking lot as tight as it is, even for the van that I drive, barely even fits to bring that big fire truck through there and try to drive. You're not going to be pretty much of a rookie and be able to drive that thing through that parking lot. So they were training somebody or some other reason why they were there. I have no idea. There was no fire or anything. It's just they coming through. But we got our taxes done, and it was just as I expected. We did have to pay, or we still have to pay, the state. And we are getting some back from the federal, but the money that we're going to take from the federal and pay the state, and then what's left the amount we take out of it and pay for the preparation of all getting all of our taxes done. The amount of money that comes in our pocket is very little, less than a hundred dollars that we are going to actually put in our pocket this year. So all in all, we actually got taxes back. Less than $100, probably just enough for me and my wife to be able to go out for dinner, not dinner and a movie, unless we go eat at McDonald's. So at least my wife and I will be able to treat ourselves to a nice steak or seafood dinner. And they will be calling us, letting us know when our federal check be coming back. So when that comes back, we'll go deposit it into the bank, write a check, mail it off to the state, and then what's left? We be paying for our nice little dinner that we're going to have because that's all we're going to have. We'll be able to pay the state, pay all the preparation, which they're going to take the all the preparation fees out of the check before we even receive it. So we will just have a check good enough to pay state, and then what's left over take us out to eat. At least. We're not in the red. When we get in the red, we owe to state and federal, and we have no money coming in from either one to pay the other, which, the way it looks, this year, when I, we, well, next year, when we do taxes for 2017, probably going to have to actually owe on both. So I'm going to be even um, be putting things in place to be able to uh, have the money sitting there to be able to pay that because I expect and plan on bringing in more money. So bringing in more money, have the same amount of deductions the year means we're going to pay more taxes because we're right on the borderline right now 
with all the deductions that we can claim, with all the money that we make, we get, make a good bit of money, but we got a whole lot of deductions. But it's easy to add more money to your bottom line for the year because all you got to do is get more work. But it's very hard to get more deductions when you max them out with all the expenses, unless you grow in business with employees and everything else. But if you got more employees, then you got to pay more taxes. So we're on that border. Really, there's no way out of not paying taxes unless we just stay the exact same size. And I don't want that. I want to grow up and get bigger in business. So the way I look at it, I want to make so much money that the little bit of taxes that we pay is going to be my loot. It's just going to be just pocket change. I want to get it to a point where we get right to the point of the next tax bracket, be right under it. So we'll pay the tax. The taxes we have to pay is for this tax bracket. And as long as we don't go into the next type tax bracket, our taxes won't go up. We stay in this one and just max out the income that we can have and be in that tax bracket would be great and sit there for two or three years and then we grow even bigger and be pushed into the next tax bracket of making more money instead of just getting over to over to the next one. Go from tax bracket, say tax bracket one. And if we go in tax bracket two, go to maximum of tax bracket two and stay right under tax bracket three. So keeps the tax that we have to pay at the minimum. But we're making a maximum amount of money in that same tax bracket. So make as much money you can in that tax bracket and the minimum taxes that you got to. Because as soon as you say if you make a hundred thousand, you got this amount of taxes you got to pay. And the tax bracket is 101,000. If you make 102,000 for that tax, even though you made only $2,000 more, instead of 100, you went up to 101,000, 102,000. You went over that 101. You only made two extra $2,000 more. But since you went in the next tax bracket, that means the taxes go up, and it's going to be more than what that 2,000 dollars extra you made so that means the margin between how much you made and how much taxes is going to be smaller you want to stay right on that underneath that border because if you want if you can go over that you want to go way over it you don't want to go into one percent into that next tax bracket you want to go 95 percent into it of making that amount of money you want to go from here to here and that's what we've been doing so pretty much the taxes we pay, if the taxes go up, that means we got enough to cover it. So the amount of money that goes in our pocket is still basically the same. So it's just playing numbers. And to be able to do that, it's not illegal or anything like that. It's just keep track of your income throughout the year and you know where you want to be and, and if you get into the point you think you're going to actually be into the next tax bracket that's when you crank it up and get that extra and if you're not you just keep going so it's just a number thing but uh this year i'm going to really have to crank it up because i do believe we're going to be pushed into the next tax bracket because our deduction items some of them are going to be disappeared. So when they disappear, that's just like going up to the next tax bracket because your, your deductions compared to your income is different. So when they change, the bottom line is going to change. But uh, I'm looking to escalate the income tremendously this year so when I travel and stuff like that it's all going to be business basically um, if I can get it to the point where I have to travel to a certain state or whatever and do a speaking engagement for business 
then that's a business write-off even though my wife and I will be going and we can treat it as a vacation partially it's tax write-off because it's related to business it's just a way you play the numbers nothing illegal it's just you got to know what you can do to save money that's all it is that's what that's how one lawyer is better than another they might both go to Harvard or whatever but if one knows the law a little bit better and knows the ins and outs of it of the little things that person would be a better lawyer if you know how to um, make your vacation trip as a business because you go in there because of business but you can use it as a vacation as well because if you go there for a speaking engagement and you're going to speak for an hour you're going to be there all day the well, rest of the day is a vacation but you're it's a tax write-off because you're there for business that's because you wouldn't go there for vacation just to go you go there because it's business so the motel and whatnot is tax deductible because it's business related it's just knowing what you can write off legally for business and that's what I want to start doing is travel for business but it's vacation that you of, instead of paying for vacation you get paid to go on vacation and it's win-win and up to the next level but that is all I have today is pretty much today was prepare all my paperwork take it to the tax man that's basically all I had today got it done now I'm just waiting for the phone call for them to come say pick come pick up your little bitty check so you can take it and put it in the bank and write somebody else a check so you just we're just gonna be the middleman they give us a check then we take that check and break it up and send it somewhere else we get a little piece of it I guess that's our fee for transferring the money you give us money we'll transfer it and give it to this person and you pay us this little bit of money to to do that that's basically what it is but hey it's nice to know that we can go out to eat and it's not on us anytime you can get something done and somebody else pays for it it's a win-win situation that's moving up to the next level you can buy a house and get somebody else to pay for it I think that's a win I think that's moving up to the next level but always do it legally do it by the books just know the books the ins and outs of it how to get it done in your favor like always do something today that will move you up to that next level until next time thank you for watching and if you like this video hit that like button down there and if you had not already done so hit that subscribe button and then go into that little bell in there and check that little box and be sure you will get notification every time we put up new content on this channel I'll see you on the next one